Baldwin and this is Kelly Griffin, a world-renowned expert on growing succulents. He's an agave and aloe hybridizer. Kelly is the plant development director, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Succulent plant development manager. It's At Alton long title. Plants, the largest grower of cactus and succulents in the country. We want things that are more garden friendly, which means fewer spines. That's one of the things we're doing. Um, and plants that will stay within bounds. People plant agave americana in a space and in three or four or five years, it's taken more than its space. Solitary agaves are a good pick because they stay put. The agaves that Kelly's about to show you are readily available or soon will be. All are beautiful, low water, slow to bloom, easy to grow, safer than most to garden around, and seldom produce pups. This is ovatifolia, which means oval foliage. Um, it's also sometimes called the whale's tongue. It gets much wider than it does get tall. So you could put it in the foreground in a garden as a centerpiece. The other thing is, when something normally gets four or five feet wide, it usually gets four or five feet tall. This thing stays about, you know, waist high or smaller. People, you know, are drawn to it, but it doesn't dominate everything behind it. Those plants look like nothing when you buy them in a gallon. People uh -huh. think they're buying a perii or something and they have no idea. So a lot of this is knowledge and working with the material, knowing what ultimately it's going to do. It's not easy for even people that are in the landscape business to know this material that's relatively new. They haven't experienced what it does. Blue Glow has a good look about it. It's solitary. They planted this many. They're, they're not extra pups coming up here. You put a large agave this close to a, a, a walkway and it will be in the walkway. That thing's never going to do it. it takes quite a bit of cold because of its Sonoran parentage. It also is fairly long-lived. It's not one of the early bloomers. They bloom out about maybe seven to 11 years, depending on how hard their life's been. Whereas some agaves can bloom out in three or four years. When agaves bloom, it's a beautiful flower often, but uh, that's the, the swan song. Uh, Victoria Reginate looks like a little artichoke. We found it in Mexico over four different states. They don't get out of bounds. They don't flower prematurely, so you don't lose them. You can have them as a, you know, a at least as long as you have a pet. Had this now for, what, 10 years, and it's, it's a nice size plant. They're slow growing. You can keep it around for a long time, and it looks pretty. How large will it get? About the size of a large beach ball. Oh. This particular one. That's the clone that we want to go with. It's kind of a rounded leaf, more open leaf arrangement, and the white lines, which you can compare to the other ones I showed you, are easily five times as wide. Tight notas are nice because they're fairly controlled growth, they're fairly slow. There are 28 forms of tight nota in my yard. That one that we call lotus is a tight nota. This is a variegated tight nota. It's got beautiful creamy yellow variegation on it. The leaf bud, as it unfurls, it leaves the imprint of the, the previous one on there. This is Impressa, a wonderful bud imprint, and that's a really nice clone of it. Is this commercially available? Yeah, yeah it's, it's in tissue culture at a couple of labs. It's easy to grow. Coastal areas of California, you'd probably be fine. If you're in the inland valleys where it drops down to the you know, 20s, you're out of luck. These are selections of Guiangola. There's one, two, three, and there's a fourth one back there. And I selected them for difference of color, and difference of leaf margin. This one was released in ISI as Moto Sierra or Chainsaw. The goldfish in a bowl. It's only going to get as big as you let it. Now you stick the same plant, the same exact plant in the ground, give it water and fertilizer, and it can reach its full potential. This is what Chainsaw does. That's what it does when it grows up. It's, it's a stunning plant and it's not difficult to grow. This one has these nice wide leaves with this interesting banding pattern on it. And that one's kind of a real platinum blue. Every one of them is an individual. They're like people. I guess you could call them my adopted children. Learn more from Kelly in my videos, Agave Queen Gola, The Gentle Giant of Succulents, and Hybridizer Kelly Griffin's own garden, Agaves. Also, be sure to watch my video on the do's and don'ts of growing Agave Americana known as Century Plant.